Hello, everybody. How was your weekend? Welcome to another epi. Just refreshing my thing here. I think it might have froze. That's good. Yeah, I just can't see anything yet. Mm. Go interwebs. guys talking about Mia Jim Jim who else is in here there we go yeah, on your knees my chat's catching up still brand you in here I know there's seven of you watching Tristan I don't know all right, guys, today we're going to make probably one of my favorite seafood chowders. It is done by, I guess, a food truck or a shipping container is what they're in here in Victoria. And I always love to go there and eat this. It's a little bit spicy. It's red. The broth is red compared to a nice white broth. It has some chipotles, some kind of different flavors in there. Eager beavers. What's up, Finn? Hope your weekend was well. And then mom is going to be making it with me today. We were supposed to make it on the weekend, but it just got a little busy with the house showings and stuff. So we thought we would do it today instead. Yeah. Chowda, Frenchie. Chowda. And then I have some sourdough bread proofing right now. And we're going to do a little bit of a roll with them later for the soup. Just grab the recipe here so I can kind of show you what they're going to look like. So they're done in a springform pan, kind of like cinnamon buns. I found this recipe last night. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. They get a paprika butter rolled into them. So... A little bit of a different savory option there. And then we're doing a Thai cashew chopped salad with ginger peanut sauce. So quite a few ingredients today. It's going to be fun keeping it nice and fresh, baking some bread, and we're going to be chilling. Yeah, butter for sure. You saw that, didn't you, Finn? Just for you. First things first though, you sense an OMAD arriving? I mean, I hope so. I want everyone to tell me their best meals that they had this weekend. Oh, there's onion. It's just the ones, the leftovers from the onion rings. I'm just gonna chop that up for the soup today. Okay, best meal you guys ate today or this weekend, go. Or the worst, depending on what you feel like talking about. That sounds good, Jim Jim. Glad you're sticking with it. Did you end up making the cornflake squares? So healthy, everyone. Yeah, Omat, delicious. Sweet. That sounds good, guys. Sounds really good. Chicken gyros. I'm doing a donaire tomorrow by hand. 
Y'all on your knees. What? Look at Finn go. Oh, me a sweet potato fries. <laughs> Slow and steady, my dude. See, there you go. I know Finn. I'm going to be making the meat from scratch and everything. Beef donairs. I know, two kilos already. That's awesome. Carry on. Just do what you're doing. It'll work. Okay, timeline for today. So the buns are the longest thing. So I did the dough up before stream, obviously, because they do take three and a half hours start to finish. But you only need 20 minutes of prep time for them. So that's how long it took to mix the dough and then to divide them up later on. And then they take about 25 minutes to bake. So keep that in mind for later on. I think I spaced my day out accordingly. So we should be good. Okay, I'll check the pic right now. Oh, deadly. You made it yourself? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm making donair meat by hand tomorrow with the pita breads, with the sweet sauce. It's going down, guys. I'm so stoked. And then the chowder today should only take about half an hour to make. Shouldn't take that long because seafood is so delicate, right? So you don't have to cook it for, let's say, more than 10 minutes. Did he change his nickname? I don't know. Where is he at? He's lurking. And then obviously the salad should take about 10 minutes to make as well. It's just an easy chopped salad. Throw together a nice little dressing and then you're good to go. So ingredients, I'll start with the chowder. I'll post the bread recipe on Discord for you guys, just cause it's a little more involved and I don't have to list that off since I'm not really making it on stream. <laughs> Tristan's the one that's always late at school, I'm sure, hey? Just walking in, like, no, no big deal. Okay, Pacific Rim Chowder. This will yield about eight servings, so we'll see if that's accurate. I'm sure it is. What do you think? Probably, like, six? If you want to have that big soup bowl, yeah, probably six. Okay, so let's say six. Oh man, our savior, Donald J. Trump with the follow. <laughs> Welcome. Stir fry for the win. Okay, so this chowder, obviously it has corn because what kind of chowder doesn't? We are just going to use frozen sweet corn kernels. This says one can, but we'll probably do two cups, I would say. And then one and a half cups of diced onion, so probably one onion whole. I love the look of red cabbage. Can you just like have a little chat about this right now? They're my favorite things to cut open. Like how is that not art? They're so cool. Evil marksman. I didn't know there was a ban on Haggis. What? How? How and why, actually? So, diced carrot as well and celery. Same amount as the onion if you want. We'll see how much we have there. Give it a go. Pickled red cabbage. Yes. So good. I like that way the best on your knees. Red wine vinegar, orange, some brown sugar in there. So good. We're also going to be putting potatoes in our chowder because you have to. That's the rule. And then here is where it goes to the Pacific Rim side is we're going to be using cilantro in it as well as coriander and cumin. So a little bit different spices than your regular chowder. We do have some crushed garlic there, probably do about three cloves. And then a can of crushed tomatoes. 
which you guys can't really see, but they're all behind me. So I'll show you my little stack here. Either crushed or diced will work. This one will just be a little bit more chunky, but you could always blend that ahead of time. And then coconut milk. We need three cans of coconut milk, so it's really heavy on that, but it makes it really nice and rich. And then chipotle's in adobo. So same thing I used in the hot sauce on Friday. If you don't have the chipotle's in adobo, I'm sure you could just use some of the hot sauce if you make any. You're actually British. Hilarious. Yeah, pretty much Trump. I'm just going to call you Trump because that's easier. Because I don't know if you're our savior yet. Let's just be real. Yeah, Finn, all of the cilantro for Francois. Once again, he eats it in this soup. So is he lying? I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. Chowder is a creamy soup that is usually thickened with potatoes. You can do bacon as well in it, but this one does not have it. So this also gets sweet chili sauce in it and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And then the fish we're using, we have some leftover salmon. We have a little bit of cod and some little scallops. They're really cute. So they're nice and bite-sized. They'll fit in a spoon perfectly. And that's our trio of fish that we're gonna use today. And then when it comes to garnishing, we'll just do some nice sliced green onion for it. All right, onto our salad. <laughs> the ban hammer's out already. Who farted in your mouth? What does it taste like? Ah. <laughs> okay, so this salad is off of Pinterest. My mom found it. It looks good, guys. I'm down with it. This is what the description is. So many delicious vegetables combine in this flavorful and colorful salad. The cashews add a delicious crunch and the ginger peanut sauce on top is amazing. So ingredients, the base of it is romaine lettuce. So four cups and then half a head of cabbage. I would do red just for color contrast, but you could do green as well. And then half a cup of sliced carrots, half a cup of edamame shelled, which are these little guys. I picked them up frozen, so we might have to th thaw them a bit. And they are shelled already, so we don't have to do that work. And those are actually soybeans, so everyone knows. Edamame is soybeans. That mise en place. Caleb, welcome back, sir. Hope your weekend was swell. I know, so colorful today. I'm pumped. <laughs> that was actually probably the one of the most creative pickup lines I've seen on Twitch ET. So I respect that one. I really do. But I'm marinated, so I'm sorry. Kyrich. I don't know about yours. I might have to take a pass on that one. <laughs> you crazies. So this salad also has peppers in it. We have some of the mini ones, but you can use red or yellow in your salad of the big kind. And then half a cup of cashews which we'll probably have to toast those up as well first because nuts always taste better toasted. It's a rule to follow. And then for the ginger peanut dressing, you're gonna need a third of a cup of peanut butter, two tablespoons of honey for some sweetness, <laughs> three teaspoons of freshly grated ginger, yum. <laughs> One and only. <laughs> <laughs> you guys okay you guys can stay because it's not creepy I'll allow this 
And then the vinegar for the dressing is rice vinegar. So we're sticking with the Asian theme. And then just a little bit of sesame oil to finish. You might need a little bit of water to thin it out. We'll see when we make the dressing. And that's it, guys. If you want, I can just go get the bread dough quickly and show you where it's at, but we won't really play with it probably until four. So 45 more minutes. <laughs> Does she have facts? I don't know if there's any facts. I didn't really get any facts today, guys. There is our dough. So it's a little bit sticky. It hasn't doubled completely yet, so that's why I think it'll need another 45. Just be chilling by the fire as always. Nice warm spot. I'm clicking that link and then I'll check it when I come back. G.I. <laughs> Jose, hilarious, the real Mexican hero. Kyrich is going for it. He's determined. Oh, she'll have some facts for you guys, even if it's not food related, I'm sure of it. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Yeah, I am, I'm not scared. Not even scared. And can I just mesh it or mention that Ibrick sneakily cheered for me before stream once again? Who are you? And why are you never in here with us? All right, guys, so first things first, should we make the salad first so it can marinate? <laughs> I think so, because we don't have to make the chowder right away. It comes together within about half an hour. Yeah, secret admirer. Eye brick. Sneaky cheerer, always. Okay guys, salad up first. Let's do this. All of the colorful things. You know what bowl it's going into. And if you don't, well then you'll, you'll get familiar with this blue bowl. Usually holds all of the veggies. Yeah, chopping sounds will begin. I might add some lime to this salad. Just saying. I know it doesn't have it. <laughs> this is Ebola. <laughs> no, no oat breaks yet, guys. <laughs> hey, 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 no bed talk, none of that. Oh, and I'm also putting peas in there. We had some extra peas, so we thought that'd be good in the salad too, hey? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, squat correct. <laughs> you better be sorry. You would like that, oh, Matt. You would. Oh, look at this. Two separate little packages. You think we need both? Boom. Edamame snacks for later. <laughs> mm. 
Meatless Monday. And we're like, what happened? She's just doing a little bit of laundry first. And then she'll be here. She's being shy. Classic. Man, that compilation was hilarious. I can't handle it. Seriously, my favorite things ever. It's like me in a video. How did you know? Yeah, no flavor, just the smell. Cabbage time. So I'm gonna cut this really thin. I think the same as the way that I did the slaw the other day. So I'm gonna cut this, let's do into four. You did a little re-edit. Oh man, I'm not even ready. Qualification. Thin slice. Guys, I haven't touched this knife in two days. It's weird. Weird. Subtitles, unreal. You know what this, these big pieces are for, right? For the one who doesn't eat her breakfast sometimes in the morning, so she puts grated cheese into it. Spoilt. Spoilt little kush. She's like, yeah, you know what? Today I think I'm feeling some cheese with breakfast, so I'm just gonna wait it out. <laughs> Here we go. eating the piece that fell out of my slipper. She's like, I'll get that for you. Man, you don't get it? Come on. Keeping those uh, kitchen safety slippers clean. Kush has got it. She says, allow me. I know it's a mystery for you guys what I'm making this week, except for tomorrow. I'm pretty stoked to talk about it later. We got a good week coming up. We get Monocle as a guest star on Thursday. I don't know if she'll really come in the stream, but she's coming over to learn how to make something with me.
How thick are the slices? Not even thick. The thinnest. The most thin. Let's do this one. Sweet onion dessert. No. Good sir, no. Not yet. That's a lot of cabbage. We're not gonna fit everything in that bowl. We're not gonna fit it all? Yeah. Well, how about some lettuce? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, what about that piece? So, it can be for something else. No, don't put it in. See, she says no. Got to listen. You want me to wash the cabbage? Or anyway. Sure. That's it. Cut off cabbage. Done. We hit our limit. She's still the boss, it's true. I got nothing. I'll peel the carrots while she washes the lettuce, guys. And then we'll use the box grater for this. Grate it up, nice and fine. Oh, you get the wave. That's where we're starting, guys. I think we do need a bigger bowl, hey? I always push the limits in this one, every time. It's just the standard, though. Did you see her chasing the carrot peel just now? They say, hello, Betty. <laughs> why Betty? I don't know why Betty. I think it suits you. Hey, eat your carrot peels. Posh says she's too good for carrot peels now. She says, I need the real deal. Are you here? <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Is there a bag for this? For stuff? what? What? Just wrap it in saran, I guess. Um, greater is where? In here? Oh, maybe. Washing. Is it? I thought I took it out. I thought so too. Where did it go? In front of our face. Oh god. What's going on? It's getting steamy. Okay, we're good guys, we're good. So, how was everyone's weekend? Finsta looked his face off. He got no face left. That's it. You're on that grind, dude. This is a crazy little piece. Let's see if we can do it. Nope. Yes, get that pole up there. That's a thing. It didn't work, oh Matt.
got carrots flying everywhere. <laughs> Thanks, Mod. Thank you for that. See, we're all on the same page, so. <laughs> the ban hammer. three of us that voted. Yeah, I don't feel like that's accurate yet. They're scared. Or maybe it's none of the above. <laughs> She's on alert, guys. Maybe I just do meatless Mondays for Kush. Man, slap someone with a cheese grater. I don't know if that would even make a sound. <laughs> Maybe the different settings have different sounds. Not that exciting. Nothing like meat though. Nothing like a steak or like a filet of fish. You gotta get that sticky sound. Okay, I think we're good. Well, I wanna have some left over for tomorrow, so I'm just gonna wash all the lettuce, okay? Man, new sub goal. It's still at 15. I'm at 8 right now. Gotta start flossing for him, I guess, guys. It is Finn. It is. I don't know if the zombie would let you do that to their face. So for the lettuce, I'm just gonna shred it fine. That way it's not a huge piece of lettuce with just a little bit of the other stuff. You want a good fork full of everything at once. Some good looking lettuce. It's true, Finn, it's true. Good old salad. I'm ready for a salad today. She's rolling back there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, that's it. We're cut off. This is where we're at, guys. We got our uh, roulette cabbage underneath that no one knows about. Francois and Barry know nothing. They don't even know what they're walking into now. <laughs> I need to watch this. Even though I can't listen to this sound. <laughs> is that a fidget spinner in the video i don't even think i've seen that movie so interstellar that is one that we haven't watched well oh matt i guess i'd have to look at it on my phone then and chat hey Shred it, shred it. How do we want to toast the nuts? In the oven or on this pan? Nope, guest star today. I'm learning. Learning from Betty. Whatever you want. Oh, now I'm the boss, guys. Taking over. You heard it here first. Pan nuts. Finn said it. Do you want to spill it and just keep all smell? Or no? <laughs> we can. Okay. Yes, Jim Jim. Letter Kenny, for sure. for Kush. She went flying. She's on it, guys. Okay, I'll turn this up for a little bit. We'll go on like medium heat. So you don't want to burn the outside, right? Just want to give it a little roasty roast. Cush shoes. <laughs> okay, let's do a little uh, split seize on these bowls. Two salads in one. Even if I just toss this up right now, it looks really colorful. It's gonna be good. Flexerd, what's up? The witchy what? Peas. Peas. Peas, please. Okay, I'm gonna do the peppers, the Ebola. How do you give me bits? I don't know. How do you cheer? I think it's at the top of the channel page.
<laughs> oh, Matt. Do the girls like big bits or do the guys like big bits? Holy, Kush is flying back there. She might just fly away one time. Guys, be nice. No fights. No bullies. <laughs> but seriously, I don't know how to... do it. Let me look up for you. Twitch guide to cheering. How to cheering for viewers. It's right beside the emoticon in chat. Okay, let me see. Do you did you buy any though ahead of time, Flex? You don't need the exclamation mark. You just put cheer and then the number. <laughs> Bit. Bit by Dr. Dre. Okay, peppers, I think I'm just gonna Julian. Probably just do them all and then split them between the salads. We're using up all the veggies left over in the fridge from last week in this salad. It's pretty perfect. <laughs> you guys are being so difficult, you buttheads. Monday. Yeah, Mondays. Mondays. I got you. Boom. Guys, they be sizzling. We almost forgot about them. No more burnt nuts. Vote for it. We can't do it. Distracting. Yay, Flex. Thank you, sir. Flexer with the hundo. You keep that up. You might just get a meal requested and made for you by moi. That'll be next week, though. <laughs> Just testing. Seeing how it feels. Was it okay? Finn, was it you? 
that requested the stuffed pork chops. Because that's on the menu this week. Oh yeah, mac and cheese. We'll give that a week or so until I make that stuff. Look for those uh, lobster sales. Those crazy kids. Yeah, that might have been a Jim Jim. Guys, my knife is getting dull. Do you hear that? It's like slipping on the pepper skin. You know what that means. <laughs> Brew. Ben. <laughs> Jim Jim's like, what? Should be good. Ching. Okay, so the peas, I'm not going to slice them as thin as last time. I'll do a little bit bigger chunks. Chunk it up. Got a taste test. Yeah, we're good. They're nice and sweet. Shout out to the peas. Yo, it feels nice to not do a meatless Monday. Barry and Francois are pumped. Even though they still got pulled pork leftovers for lunch. That's what we had too. Like that one pork roast gave us, what, five meals, I think? Insane. Five meals for four people for $27. That's a deal. We picked up some really good prime rib roasts today too. They were on sale. I'll show you them later. I went fishing for all the best ones. I like picked through them all for a good 10 minutes in the store. Don't even care guys. There was people watching me? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, what is this chick doing? And it is why everyone should cook with me. Holy. Francois and Barry are on the way. They're excited for chowder. They're like, we gotta go. Hello. Yo, am I making Cheetos puffs? Well, no, but welcome. Making some chow dare with a nice Thai salad and some buns. Hun. That'll be the phone. 
Is that how I picked Barry too? Yeah, pretty much. Can you make homemade cheese puffs? Pretty sure. Might just need to pick up a couple of uh, chemicals of sorts. I'm not really sure how they make those guys. Guys, we did it. We almost burnt them. <laughs> That's why I do them in the oven. We're pushing limits. We have a charred cashew salad topping today. No, they're just a little dark. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're not broken. Okay. They're just a little uh, misused. Oh, he's still here, guys. You're never alone. I should try to make them. Okay, let's look it up. Homemade Cheetos recipe makes it easy to be cheesy. They suckered me in, guys. Got suckered into that one. All of the cow, pretty much. What do you need for Cheetos? A cow. Butter, salt, garlic, powder, flour, cornmeal, and cheese. You beat it up and then you shape it into a disc. I don't like it. I could do it better, guys. What is this recipe? What are they trying to pull? Cow slaughter on Meatless Monday? Yeah, maybe in the new place. There'll be more room there. <laughs> Conan the Barbarian. I don't know if we'll do Meatless Monday anymore. We did it for what, five weeks straight? And then we're like, nah, we're good fam. I make a cow out of no meat. <laughs> cow. Okay, my fingers look like little ET fingers there, hey? You know what? Neighbor's been pretty good, guys. It's been all right lately. Meat full Mondays. ET fingers. You don't know what ET is? Don't even say that. It's like one of my favorite movies. Okay, what else are we missing here? Romaine, cabbage, carrots, edamame, peppers, oh, green onions, and cashews. That's because there's snow. <laughs> Two green onions.
They're not burnt. We're being gourmet and serving it charred. <laughs> One thing you learn when you're working in a kitchen, you have to sell it, even if it's not right. Just make it sound great, and they'll believe you. Split that between the two. Okay, I'll try one just to make sure. They just smell roasty toasty. They taste fine. We're Gucci. We're Gucci, guys. Chop these nuts. Clock, so we can do a little bit of bun work after this. Nuts and buns today, guys. Nuts and buns. nuts. Butter buns, you know it, Finn. Great clip, great clip. Okay, dressing time. Probably not gonna dress it quite yet. Let's do it like maybe 10 minutes before we're gonna eat. That way the romaine lettuce won't go soggy. <laughs> Never. What? Flex with another hundred biddies. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. I really do. It's a great way to start the week. And they match my shirt. All things purple. All things purple. Yeah. Yeah, sleep in the apron. Okay, recipe for dressing. One third of a cup of peanut butter, two tablespoons of honey. Get all of the things over here. There's like nothing left in this, so I was like, mm, I guess that should be used considering we have two other ones. <laughs> Microwave cookery. Do like 10 seconds, see where we end up. Demonstration later, yeah. You just gotta cook with Kate, maybe you'll find out one day. Nice and liquidy. 
Good to go. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a little bowl, guys. And a whisk. Just the wee one. Subscriber perk. Nutella. Nutella always. <laughs> you guys. The OGs, they know how to answer. They're here for one thing. Gotta get that smooth peanut butter. But I'm pretty sure you could use crunchy in this too. Considering there's chopped cashews, I don't think that would really matter. We got a duo of nuts today. tablespoons of honey. Let's eyeball it. Might need a little uh, scrape out here. Every last drop. Those bees don't work for nothing. Where's this honey from? Vancouver Island Fireweed Wildflower Blend. Mm. Way different tasting than the jar that I always use of the Theic stuff. Okay, honey's done. Two tablespoons of vinegar. Did we have a problem with bees in Canada? I mean, not that I know of. I think the whole world is having that problem. <laughs> Party. Wild today, guys. Craziness. Oh, I'm not out of honey yet. Where's my other jar? We still got a ways to go there, sir. A little ways to go. Oh, okay, sure. Well. Oh, I knew you would love that. No, they're taking a different photo of the house because the other one was snowy. <laughs> okay. Hilarious. No bees, no mead. You know what, Flexerd? I, I definitely believe that. People don't understand how important bees are. Like, without them, we couldn't have any vegetables or fruits, nothing like that. Like growing crops of wheat and stuff is one thing, but that's not sustainable. Two teaspoons of sesame oil. So go light on that because it is potent, right? You don't just want to taste sesame oil in your salad. Yeah, add those club lights. Just put a dimmer on there. We need a dimmer switch in the kitchen, please. <laughs> okay, last thing, or second last thing, sorry, I'm gonna do just one lime juiced. 
and then I'll get the ginger out of the freezer and grate it up. And you guys know why it's in the freezer. Get it nice and fine. That way it's not overpowering either. Like what kind of Thai salad doesn't have lime in it? Crazies. I mean, yeah, you can get bees that don't even sting and just have their little home in your backyard. There's a little kit at Costco that we can buy. We're gonna get it. I can't believe you're doing all of that with windows. Very impressive, sir. this hard at all. Do it. Do the beekeeping course. It'll be so worth it. We used to have bees at the brewery I worked at in the parking lot. It was the greatest thing ever. I always went and visited them and took care of their flowers and stuff. Time to make that ginger snow. Guys, real quick, we're gonna spy. Look at this. Do you even photograph the photographer? Come at me, bro. Got him, guys. We got him good. <laughs> Posh can't stop barking. <laughs> I really hope you can hear her little barks in the background. <laughs> Get him on stream. I don't think he would come on stream. He's just taking pictures of the backyard and stuff now that the snow is gone for the realtor website, for the house listing. Kush is not impressed. What do you say, girl? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Dogs, right? Get ready for it. No, shh. No. Yeah, I sang Miley. What up? get them you're good now okay this is where our sauce is at just gonna whisk it together hopefully it's very interesting texture at the moment don't know how I feel about it 
Oh, we're coming together now. Make it smooth. There we go. All right, so now it's said to thin it out with water if you need. So do warm water, so that'll help mix in with the peanut butter a lot easier. And then we'll give it a taste and see if it needs any salt and pepper. Is this cush manure? <laughs> nah, it's never that soft, guys. That'd be gross. Did you guys see the thing about the guy in the UK that started collecting other people's dog poo and now he makes electricity with it? Kudos to that guy. Probably need a little bit more water. Dog stream stream. <laughs> yeah. Well, you think about it. I mean, fossil fuels aren't going to last forever. So it's good that they're getting creative like that. I wish that more people would do that. Or I wouldn't go in the landfill. Okay, I'm happy with that. I guess I should just give it a taste before I throw the whisk out. Throwing it out. Mmm. That's good. Just a little bit of salt. And pepper. Poop feel will last forever. Why isn't that trending? How about instead of eating Tide Pods, you come up with something good? how they do it though. I'm pretty sure they have to contain the gases, right? I don't know how to make poop feel, guys. Might be something we should look into. <laughs> okay, dressing and salads are going into the fridge now. They be chillin'. Then chow dare. Yeah, he wouldn't even see it coming. He'd be like, what did I do? It wouldn't be fair. I'd have to explain it. Got bigger from last time. That's where we're at now. We're looking good. But I do have to clear my cutting board out of here. Just for a couple of minutes. Because these kind of get rolled out like cinnamon buns. And then you brush on the paprika butter. Roll them up. <laughs> what if neighbor is Ivrick? He's like, maybe if I give her money, she won't kill me. <laughs> you never know. Of course, Brad would know that. 
Bran would know that. He would know that. That's great. See, at least someone knows. Neighbor is Ibrick. Now we know. <laughs> Okay, directions. Roll and pat the dough into a rough rectangle approximately 12 by 16 inches. Put two tablespoons of melted butter in a small bowl with paprika. It's there for color and accentuate the bun swirl, but omit if you wish. Spread the dough with the melted butter. Starting with the long side, roll the dough into a log. Log buns, now we know. Logging, yeah. Gotta accentuate the swirl in the buns. Yeah, it's like Lululemon for sure. Ready? No flour. Wait for it. <laughs> the flop. Were you guys ready for the drop? I don't know if I was. Okay, so this dough, it's a little bit sticky, but it shouldn't stick to your counter because there is butter and egg in it. Once again, it's a King Arthur recipe. So you can see just how nice that it is to work with. It's not sticking to my hands at all. But I think I will use a rolling pin. Honestly, Onionies, that is stuff that I just say on the daily. I'm not just doing it for you. That's how I usually worked in the kitchens with all my kids. I wasn't the old grumpy chef that most are. So we'll probably roll this to about half an inch thick. Get out of the way, book. You're not needed here. Oh yeah, Jim Jim. I keep forgetting your name is Arthur. Jim Jim is King Arthur. I've been making his recipes all along. That is shiny. Can you hear the little bubbles coming out? It's farting. Okay, I'm happy with that, I think. <laughs> don't even ask. Just don't do it. Okay, and here's my starter that I used in it. I fed it. 
before stream. So I'm going to put it in the fridge now to go to sleep for another week. Go to sleep, my little Goldilocks. More butter. Bubbles from the buns. This looks like three tablespoons to me. All right, Finn, emptying out the butter pot. Starting that week fresh. Ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, not enough. I'll be right back, guys. I am here. Swirl it up. I think I've confused Finn with Tristan before too. P.S. Where is that kid? What is he doing? Napping for six hours again? <laughs> Finn is so insulted. I am not an American. How dare you? <laughs> he probably is at Olive Garden. Crazy guy. All right, here we go. The butter buns. Should we get that uh, drizz first? Guys, they sell Olive Garden dressing at Costco now. Two packs for I think $10. That's like the only thing good from Olive Garden is the dressing. I thought about it and then I was like, nah, I can't. I just can't do it, man. Okay, now we be rolling like a Cinnabon. Nice and tight. The cheddar biscuits. <laughs> no, those are the red lobster ones. You can buy the mix, but it's nowhere near as good. But actually, I wouldn't really know because I haven't eaten there in so long. So maybe that's just what it's come down to. Shh. 
shitty cheese biscuits. I'm just gonna stretch this out a little bit because I can. And then these are really cool. They get baked in a springform pan, which makes it really easy to take them out. So if you've never seen these, the outside has a little lever that you open and then you can take the bottom out. Done. Really good for cheesecakes and anything like that, but it's pretty stoked to see this recipe use this, but. If you don't have these, I'm sure anything round would do. I mean, even square. Why not? So now, it says put eight buns in each pan. So I'm just going to divide this in half first. And then cut eight out of these, hopefully. I'll keep it stretched out. That way I'll know we're good. And they should be about one inch, so I think we're good. Looking great, looking grand. It said to use dental floss to cut these. I was like, what? <laughs> no, thank you. Those swirls. Let's do two in the middle. And then those should proof up really nice. And then they should bake fully and fit the pan. This one's a bit bigger, so I'm not sure if it will or not. We shall see. You could also fill this with whatever you want. I was thinking about doing cheese, but I'm doing a kind of a variation of a garlic cheesy bread later this week, so I didn't wanna double up on those flavors. This is called either like a pastry scraper or a dough scraper, bench, bench scraper something along those lines. Scraper, yeah. They're pretty cheap. And those are the buns. So next thing, I'm just gonna cover them with the tea towel, like always. And back over to the fire. These buns have got to chill. <laughs> Skyscraper. You know, it's, it's whatever. Now it's chowder time. for another hour. So like 5.30, we'll bake them off. Maybe less, we'll see how warm the fire is. See how nice they proof up. Okay, let's do this. You wanna cut the veg or you want me to? It's your cooking show. Or you're just chilling. It's your cooking show. Okay. Scrapey mix scraper sin. First things first. Saute the corn, onions, carrots, celery, potatoes, cilantro stalks, garlic, coriander, cumin, and salt and pepper in the oil until the veggies are soft. Add the tomatoes, coconut milk, chili sauce, chipotle puree, hot sauce, Worcestershire, and fish, and simmer for 15 minutes. 
Serve garnish with cilantro leaves and green onion. Flex with the cheer again. More Betty. See? Okay, well, what do you want me to do? Whatever. You can stir the pot and chat. All right. Stir the pot. Yeah. Ha ha ha. It's almost stove time, guys. And I'm surprised you're all here still. <laughs> Where is Crumb? Nobody needs sleep today. Overrated. Just let me watch this Tropicana ad before I watch your link, Omat. <laughs> Stir it up. Guess who is here? Um, who's here? Pizza Man. Man, I don't know what ad block is. I told you I'm terrible with computers and technology. <laughs> Everyone act normal. <laughs> I ate pizza. It is no. Man, that pizza looked good though. I have to say, I like the choice of olives. It's true, he will get it installed for me. Sammy knows. Today, I am making some chowder with salmon, scallops, and cod. And I just finished doing the buns. So they're like a savory kind of roll, like a cinnamon bun. But inside is butter and paprika. Obviously no sugar. Okay, so this is the bee house that we are gonna get. It's for mason bees. Yeah, it's for mason bees. So they don't sting and then they just live in those little straw looking thingies. Bee things. Bees. Do you guys remember boots and cats? And bees. It does take a long time to make. <laughs> I am making a cow in the microwave. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. That should be very specialty. What do you think I should make the cow out of? Yep, yeah, Betty Boot. She's over here. Okay, how to process this disintegrated onion? How do you? Well, first, I'm gonna chop this one into thin lengths. Do a little choppy down that side. Throw the butt out. Throwing it out. We're gonna go for rough chops here. I mean, this is a pretty good slice. So I'm just gonna slice it all the way along. So one thing about a soup is you don't really have to care about the way you're chopping veggies. 
if you're not that good at it because it just has to be able to fit onto a spoon anyways. You could also do all your veg in a food processor. That works too. And I'm crying. Those onion rings though. So we had leftovers and then I heated them up the next day in the oven. I think it was 425 for like six minutes. They are so crispy again. Best leftovers ever. <laughs> Combi Max 650. Put it in there, good to go. I don't even know what that is. Did you actually add extra crunch? That's amazing. buns. Okay, we're almost there. I haven't put the schedule up yet. I'll chat about it a bit when we get this chowder going. While Betty stirs the pot. And we can have some fun. It's good though. I did post it on Facebook, but uh, I don't think any of you are on there. Which is fine by me. You can't do all things. Are you, is this dirty? Are you done? Yeah, you probably just have to wipe it a bit. It's buttery. The rolling pin is greased well. Yeah. I only said that though, Tristan. That's all I said. It's because he talked about kebab. So I had to put my two cents in. Should that be the next emoticon, guys? Butter? Pretty much what the stream's about. Butter and onions. I can't do them until I get a tier 2 or a tier 3 sub though. So until then, we got to wait. These little onion bits can just be put over there. It's like a little claw. Like, what is this? It's like, rawr. It's like a shark tooth onion. Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> Booyah base? You can't say it. Booyah base. That's going to be a good day. I'm going to read a little excerpt out of my blog when I went and ate it in France. And then see if I can recreate it. Brunions.
The tears are real. Okay, now that that is done with. See, I don't think I'm gonna saute the veg all together. Like maybe the mirepoix, the carrots, onion, and celery, but not the corn. I don't have the corn until I'm almost the end. See? Betty knows. She's with me on this one, guys. Yes, Omat. Booyah base and Rui. Oh, that's a good question, Anies. Onionies. I still like calling you Anies better. Anies. Bran, have you seen the mashups yet? Because they're pretty epic, and I'm pretty sure you might pee your pants laughing at them. <laughs> it's a must. Anies. Francois is getting yelled at already. I just got home. <laughs> Gotta get that trio. Classic trio, Mirepoix. is still running from those onions. At least I'm not crying anymore though. All right, carrots. The most fun part. I guess only if your knife is sharp enough to do this though. And you can't be scared. Like look how wobbly that one is. Terrifying. It's longer than the camera frame. We'll get it in there. Bam. Just let gravity do the work. Like a sward. That's a new one, I like it. Watch out, she has a sward. <laughs> Francois says what's up what's up my party peoples okay I didn't cut these carrots down going long guys Francis that's the American version yeah. Not, but when I hear Francis I just think of house of cards Francis Underwood AKA Donald Trump. Boom. Okay, trio's done. Now we can start the pot. Betty's coming in. What do you think, Kush? You good with that? Actually, 
Are you doing the cilantro now? Or? Pardon me? I'm going to chop up the cilantro right there for you. Okay. I just need a little uh, camera switcheroo. Shabam. Big question coming in. Go for it, sir. Let's put this pot on medium high. Get some nice color on that veg. We're using some olive oil. Cover the bottom of the pot, you're good to go. Cilantro time. Floppy cilantro time. Still good though. It's going in soup, so it doesn't really matter. Just uh, take out whatever darker colored pieces there are of cilantro or the wilted ones. believe you guys did that but it's fair I said it you got me and I laughed if I didn't laugh then I would say take it out but I think it's funny Oh, it's so obvious. That's why it's like, I don't care. I ain't scared. Okay, we need our trusty wooden spoon. And then how much of the cumin and coriander? Two teaspoons of coriander, one teaspoon of cumin. I think it could be the truth. I mean, I don't know what the taste is, but I'm sure the smell is better than it. <laughs> Gotta get that sizzle. What is it? It had a huge real ship inside of it that you could get on and walk around on it. That's West Edmonton Mall and it has a huge museum also. The ship is in West Edmonton Mall, the pirate ship. That's the only ship I know of in Canada that's like that. It wasn't in the mall. I have no idea what that is. Do 
Do you guys know the ship inside here? Is it at the, uh, the, With the uh, museum? I don't know. Betty needs to stir that pot. She's coming in. Chopping the cilantro right now. All of the smells. And then the potatoes. We're gonna peel the potatoes today, guys. No skins on for our chowder today. I think it moved. <laughs> oh, just me burning cashews again. Uh oh. I need to take this, guys, just a sec. I'm going to make sure the food doesn't burn. <laughs> I'll turn on the sound. I just mixed it. Good stuff. 
see I get home from work, I have to go back to work. I don't know what's going on here right now, guys. She's got things everywhere. There's the poppet here. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Kitchen stories. What kind of kitchen stories do you want to know? Games are always going great, A and E's. On your knees. Do you want a funny kitchen story, a sad kitchen story, a stressed out kitchen story? Everything chop goes cilantro. in. Chop the cilantro. You right do there. it. No, this goes into the oh, stems. Everything going. Stems and everything. Yeah. You're back. I had to tell a funny kitchen story first. Hey. <laughs> so, one day we were telling these two people to clean the deep fryer. <laughs> they got all the oil to the back of the room. That was all fine. They put it on this rickety cart. Now, they didn't really put the, the buckets of oil properly on the cart, so it was kind of wobbly. So they started taking this oil bucket out. Now each oil bucket has about 15 liters worth of oil. One of these oil buckets fell on the ground. Yeah, that was another hour worth of cleanup of oil <laughs> everywhere. I didn't do it though. I it just walked back. Her. She walked back and she was, I was like, like, why did you do this? <laughs> well, it, it fell over. I'm like, well, I'm not helping you clean that because that was a dumb mistake. <laughs> that was about it. And yeah, we just laughed at the people, made them clean it up and uh, continued on with cooking. Bye team. Priority. Thanks, Sammy, for holding it down. Had to talk to the government guys. Serious stuff. I've been waiting for them. Probably good. What is going on here with these angles? I don't know. I did stuff. Barry's doing stuff. You guys chilling? How's this looking? Good to put your cilantro in there. How, how much uh, tomatoes does it ask for? Just one can. That much? About 28 ounce. Seems like a lot. It says 15 ounces yeah, of tomatoes. So I'm half of that. <laughs> it's about the grow up. They found me, guys. No, no, just employment insurance and such. That's it. Cilantro is going in. Now we're going to get all of the smells. Kate has manly hands. What is this? Who does? You guys want more berry? We can maybe make that happen. Okay, now I need to get all this cilantro off my board.
And another cheer, Flexard. Thank you, man. Just killing it today. You better start thinking about what you want to request for food. Would you like some potato with your cilantro? I don't know what's been going on here, guys. I just got here. <laughs> One day of the week, Barry is co-host. But we can't though, because he's always at work. Maybe we can do Barry brunch streams. I know brunch isn't going away. It'd be like a quick, probably like hour stream. It looks really fine. On either like Saturday or Sunday. In the morning, which I know all of you guys could watch. Thanks, Flex. I really appreciate it. I think you've been here longer than the other boys, anyways. All the kids. All the kids. Yeah, you guys want a little brunch stream? We can probably make that happen. He was. Fun fact. Flex found me before you guys did. Let it be known. Yeah, he is OG. What? And Barry with the Twitch Prime. Thanks, Barry. Guys, that's up to nine now. We only need six more. And then I'll eat an onion. Terrifying. Nope, there's no garlic in it yet. The struggle, guys. It's real. The struggle. How much? Uh, we'll do three. Okay, so one little key pointer for chowder is if you want to thicken the broth with the potatoes instead of using flour, cut your potatoes a little smaller so that they can break down faster. Another thing I learned from one of my kitchen guys before is grating the potatoes works really good as well. So just use your box grater and grate them in. And then it takes probably about 15 minutes if you want to crush a chowder real quick. That's for you, Omax. I know you like those quick meals for your grill. Gosh. Meals for your grill. Oh. What, Tristan? <laughs> Make a cow. Oh, Sammy, look in the fridge. We got some beef oh, today. Gonna... Did I do good picks? Yeah. <laughs> you yes. guys already know. If Barry says I did good picks, guys, I'm good. Microwave ready. <laughs> Got some more meals for the grill? Maybe. I'll have to think about it. Okay, we need our spices in there still, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Two teaspoons of coriander, one teaspoon of cumin, because cumin is stronger. Ha, ha, ha. It's true, guys. You've got those good picks. That's fact. He's wild. Crush it, Betty. Teaspoon of human seasoning. Mm. 
That's right, Omat. Ask on the for the grill meals. One of our first meals though together was pizza. Classic, right? At the Italian center. After the gym, I bet. Yeah, after the gym. After the gun. The gun. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the potatoes in now. We're on a date, not a date. It was a date, but not a date? Yeah, a date. <laughs> and she just let you. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. She got angry at me. Oh, yeah? Did we meet at the gym? Nope. We met at one of our cooking jobs. Oh, I guess you guys don't even know the story. Y'all don't even know. Oh, this is smelling delicious. Delicious. So they wanted a fun fact. I got a fun fact for them. Okay, come on in. Fun facts with Betty. So, Francois and I have tried all the chowders we could find in the last three and a half years on Vancouver Island, right from Victoria to Tofino. And so far, Redfish Bluefish is the best chowder. Like, it's not a classic chowder, but it, got that it has such great flavor. Yeah. It's memorable. It is. And every other chowder kind of just tastes the same. Well, some of them are just like goopy flour. It's <laughs> yeah. nasty, but yeah, this is a good one. This is the best chowder. So there's chowder. a fun fact. I don't know who wanted the fun fact. Oh, Matt, I think. It's in a little sea can is where they make it, right on the harbor. And then you get to feed the seagulls at the same time. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Okay, we're not doing all of this though. Uh -uh, it only like, says two ounces, two ounces of chipotle. Like, like, I put too much in one time. Ooh, and this spicy. is six and a half. Yeah, so we'll spicy. eyeball it, guys. We'll eyeball it. It was too hot once. Okay, we're looking good. Maybe we'll peek. You've never even had a chowder? What? It is so good. Yeah, you should feel a little bad. I feel bad for you. I challenge you, Omat, to make a chowder on Sunday. Yeah, maybe I should start challenging you guys to make things. That way I know you're actually paying attention. <laughs> you don't know what chowder is either? I don't know if you would get chowder at a sushi place though. <laughs> Chowder is a type of soup or stew, often prepared with milk or cream and thickened with broken crackers, crushed biscuits, or a roux. Variations of chowder can be seafood or vegetables. But we're doing potatoes. So there's a couple different kinds of chowders too. Ivar's clam chowder? No. I don't think I've had it, Tristan. Can I put the stuff in now? Worcester. How are we doing? I think we're good, hey? Yeah, put the, put the liquid. Hey, it's liquid time. Liquid. Tomats? Like, not all of it, though. What? It yeah, only calls for half. half. It only calls for half. What are we going to do with the rest, just, though? 
we'll freeze it or whatever, we'll use it in something. No, no, don't do it. It's going to taste like tomatoes. <laughs> I'll ban ah! you. I'll ban you from my kitchen. Betty with the ban. <laughs> okay, let me catch up. I just saw that follow, okay, but I didn't see up. the I'm name. Do this stuff. Zacharias. Welcome, sir. Follow the Insta. Perfect. My favorite spot. I know, right, Zach? Manhattan style. We're doing actually Pacific Rim chowder. So this is West Coast style. More spicy. I'm kind of Asian-y. We got some cilantro and chipotle going in there. A chef. Awesome. Where are you from, sir? Yeah, really interesting. Here, let me find this. In Texas right now, awesome. Got another viewer in here from Texas. Speaking of, where is butt? Where has butt been, you guys? She just like fell off the earth. Okay, how much is an ounce of It says an, oh, an ounce yeah. of Worcestershire? How much is that? I don't know. Some. Some drops. Some? Yep. I would say like a, not even a quarter. That's, oh God, that's a ton. Yeah, you're good. It's she hot. says we good. You're good. We good, guys. She's scared of the onions. What? And a host. Welcome, my people. Welcome. We be making some chowder. Man, Monday is on fire. We're never doing Meatless Monday again. <laughs> Sweet Pea, hi. Welcome. Hello, my people. <laughs> of course. I need to go there. We're planning to do a Seattle trip pretty soon. See? He has been there. Okay, Betty's going. She's rooting for the hot sauce in the fridge. Here. Oh. Sweet chili. Is this hot sauce too? Thanks. That's awesome, sweet pea. How did it turn out? That sounds so good. Grilled brats. Okay, you're out. Well, thank you for the host. Come by again. A show. <laughs> Go eat them up while it's still warm. Makeup Mondays, and I'm putting makeup on Barry. Tristan, you're scaring me now. What are you talking about? Four ounces of sweet chili sauce. Eyeballing. Jelly-filled poop. And thank you for the follow, Sweet Pea. Sounds good, hang out here. New England clam chowder is good. I just posted the recipe up in chat if you wanna scroll up a bit. This is our little variation out here. It's done by one of the food trucks in Victoria. Cause I'm on Vancouver Island. So good. Okay, and now we need an ounce of hot sauce as well. This is my homemade version, so it's not super spicy. More flavorful than anything. Mm. 
And then I'll probably add, I'll do the salt and pepper once the fish and all of that is in. <laughs> it's an interesting one. Thank you for the follow, Jelly. Red Robin. I can't even remember when I ate that. Sounds good, on your knees. Thanks for staying so long, dude. Hopefully catch you tomorrow. I will post the menu in Discord after this. I will not forget. <laughs> now we are finding out that Finn is also a female. <laughs> okay, so if you ever have extra chipotles left over in the can... Pop those in the freezer. That way you can reuse them. You don't have to throw that out. Do you want to wait and then taste it first before we get rid of them? She says wait. Wait it up. I said okay. Just going to chop up our green onion garnish. And we're going to wait for the potatoes to be, let's say, 80% cooked until we put the fish in. So we don't want to overcook our fish. No dry fish. Break out the wine. I should. It's been a weekend. It's been a weekend, she says. It's true. We haven't had that much wine yet. Might just have to. Yeah, we, we need more wine. It's been rough. More wine. Are you going to have some with me? If I'm daring, I'll eat the chipotles? Nah. Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Are we going to the gym today? No. Nope. Okay. Then you are? No, I'm still good. I should drink water first. Thirsty Monday. Thirsty Mondays and Thursdays. We need two days a week of thirst. She's coming in. Coming into your lane. Getting in there. <laughs> Tonight, we have a lovely red rooster. A 2016 Pinot Blanc. From British Columbia. In Penticton. What kind of knife is this? This is a shun, Tristan. If you go onto my channel page, you can see all my Amazon gear. It's at the bottom there. I pretty much put all of the things that I use on a daily basis in there. So let it be known that all of that stuff is good. It's not crap stuff. Cut those onions on a bias, my friends. All right, we got some bubbles in our chowder. Can you guys see them? It doesn't make sense, right? Red Rooster, it's a white wine. <laughs> I never even thought about this. <laughs> what are they doing? Kikwichi? I need to look that up, Zach. Never even heard of it. You would recommend it? They're pretty good price, actually. They got a couple on there for a hundred bucks off. Knives are too dangerous. You can't even start shopping for them because then you want them all. Let's give this a little stir. Oh, smells good. Mm. 
Hey guys, we got 10 minutes until I check those buns as well. I just want to see where our potatoes are at. They're about halfway there. Still a little bit of crunch in there. Sounds good, Zach. Yeah, I have one Japanese steel knife. It's a nigiri for the veggies, little vegetable cleaver. I love it. The only downside is that it rusts if you don't wipe it, right? But other than that, it is sharp. Chef Tony knives. What is that even? Ooh, okay, we have to deal with some scallops probably teach you guys something right now that some of you may not know yeah we're using both but I am going to get just a different cutting board in front of me so that I don't get my seafood all soaked into my wood cutting board <laughs> chef Tony he suckered her in though you can't even be mad. Panda! I get panda in the morning and panda at night. Thanks for coming to check up on me. How was your day, dude? Did you get all your work done? Good old Ikea. How to make grilled cheese. Just wing it. Should I turn the heat down on it? No. Now you're good. It's jumping out. It's jumping out. Just one minute. Okay, let's do a little simmer. Simmer action on the pot. Panda, what did you eat today? That is the question. Okay, let's do a little uh, scallop talk right now with Posh. So, scallops. They have this little muscle on the side of them. I don't know if you can see properly. Let's see, maybe this way. See that like brighter white color right there? We have to take that off. So that's the tough part of the scallop. And you wanna make sure you take all of those off before you serve them or else it gets really rubbery and chewy. A lot of people don't pay attention to this. I did not know this. See, Betty didn't even know. So you always wanna make sure you give your scallops a one over before you serve them. Your guests will be a lot happier. Most of them will have it. Pizza. Yeah, you did. Get in there. Get in that Discord, Panda. If I was not a chef, what would I be doing? Good question. I mean, yeah, I would say like farmer or something like that, but I think I only fell in love with that kind of work because I am a chef. I originally was interested in like fashion design and stuff. I know you guys are gonna laugh, but I also do like hairdressing and stuff like that. Pretty much anything that I can do with my hands, I would say, like I'm very hands-on. I don't like desk jobs. Although I feel like I've done more paperwork the last like month and a bit for this stream than I have like my whole career, which is kind of hilarious. But I definitely couldn't do anything with like paperwork. I would get so bored. Boys, boys. 
Classic Omat. Getting in there. Okay, we're almost there. We're like halfway through. <laughs> Extreme desk job. Unknown laptop injuries. Wait, I thought you were leaving. On your knees, what are you doing? Wasn't that like 10 minutes ago? He's back. Why classic you, Omet? Because you always get those innuendos in there. But I don't even care. Like, Barry is right here. He doesn't care. It's a guy thing. Yeah, you speak for the group. Oh, I saw your pizza, Tristan. I saw it. Oh. Panda, he posted it in the wrong one. Tristan gets them messed up sometimes. I had a group chat going before I made the server. So sometimes he forgets and posts in there. We still love him, though. <laughs> Squato correct. That's crazy, Jelly. I mean, as long as you love it, right? That's all that matters. But I, I know you, most of you don't know this, but I'm terrible with technology and computers, so that would not be my jam. The creative part, yes. Dealing with computers, not so much. Okay, there are all of our little scallops taken care of. Let us go check the buns. I love them on your knees. You're so good at it too, considering what you're using to do it. Flex with the another hundo biddies. Holy, wait till you see these buns. They be blowing up, guys. They look so good. Okay, I can turn the oven on now. <laughs> oven at 300 Fahrenheit. 350. for 22 to 25 minutes. So these ones have filled up the spring form pan a lot more. They look so good. Okay, let's preheat that baby. We are on a roll. <laughs> Mom, I like everyone. Tristan, why, no one likes you? Of course we do. Panda, 
Panda. I've never made these before, but they do look really good, hey? Let's put them over here so we can all spy on them. More butter. Do they need butter on the top? No, I don't think they need more butter. They already like have a nice sheen on them. <laughs> We're good. But this though, is it better over there? Yeah. Buns got sheen. It's true, Tristan. We got a good crew. That's so me, Panda. Every time I'm like, just so everyone knows, I've never made this before. But it's always more fun that way. And you got like a crowd to support you if everything goes wrong. Got a little leftover salmon here, uncooked. I have the cooked stuff here that we're gonna use up. So that'll be put in like right at the end so it doesn't overcook. And then I just have a little cod filet as well. We got our uh, seafood trio today. And because the scallops are smaller, let's cut our fish smaller so that everything cooks at the same amount of time. I saw your burger, Panda. It looked so good. And it kind of upset me because I just had the like one of the worst burgers ever last night when we went out to eat. It was sad. I was like, man, this is a waste of calories. <laughs> Seafood trio. Yeah, why are you seaweed monster? What is going on? Let's just put this in here. This can be our little fish vessel. <laughs> Tristan, you kill me, man. Why don't you go and like find places that aren't chain restaurants? Let someone with some skill cook for you. You know what, Finn? Chefs, chefs should be able to go out and eat and not complain. Like, I always try to keep an open mind because you never know what you're going to get, right? There's some young kids out there these days that really do know how to cook. But, I mean, at least half of the time you're usually disappointed, which is sad. It kind of ruins it, right? It ruins the experience when you know you can make better food than what you ate for way less money. And that's kind of the reason I did start this show. It's just to show people how easy it is to make really good food at home for yourself. And that true panda, we need to be reminded why we do this. I mean, the McDonald's employees probably don't have much cooking skills, but they have organizational skills. You can't say you know how to cook if a computer is telling you when to drop fries and when to take them out of the oil. <laughs> Food swamps. <laughs> Love it, Panda.
But I guess that is the draw of chain restaurants though, is that it should always taste the same. Doesn't matter what day you go, what time, right? Is they live on the consistency. I'm doing the same thing over and over. But it doesn't allow for creativity. <laughs> Where is this ship? We need to find it. Tristan lost his ship. That is totally fine, Jelly. I'm not, I'm not trying to diss anyone here. I'm just giving both sides of the story. Then you're a chef, Jelly. If you do everything by hand, then you're fine. You have skills, you've trained for it, and you've learned. You're good to go. I ruined Bran. Ah. Honestly, he was moved out before I even went to culinary school. I would definitely say I, I have not cooked enough for Bran. That's for sure. I wish he would taste more of my food. getting thick guys i think the potatoes are starting to break apart let us have a taste I was totally a burger chef for like a good three years, Jelly. I worked at a brew pub, but you know what? We made some of the best burgers in the city and we took pride in that. <laughs> Boom, there's our oven. Brandon is his name. And I totally used to call him all bran or raisin bran. I was terrible. <laughs> yeah, totally called them raisin bran. <laughs> he is all that is bran. Okay, let's get these buns in. One more close up. For the finster slow motion we're going in let's go on the low end and start our timer at 22 minutes and see where we end up so now i know that i have 22 minutes left to get this chowder on the table Get our bowls out, maybe do a little cleanup. Maybe we should uh, toss our salad first, get that dressing nicely mixed in. I'll just wait for someone to say what I know that they're gonna say. He called me anything. Dongs for thee says it. See, I knew it. 
Thank you, Doms. At least somebody's paying attention. The one bowl to rule them all. The suspense. I said toss the salad. And the boys in here are bad. <laughs> what? What is going on, Dongs? Okay, so here, let's get a little look at our salad here, because lots of you are new. So, bottom layers. I got some shredded cabbage, romaine lettuce, and carrots. And then some nice chopped up peas. A little bit of julienne pepper, some fresh edamame, toasted cashews, maybe a little bit charred, but shh, and some green onions cut up. And then the dressing is a ginger peanut dressing with some honey and sesame oil. I didn't put ginger in the soup. No. I think that should be enough dressing. <laughs> I can't let you do that. We got some rough textures for sure. Well, we wanted some crunch with our soup, right? Toss it up, up. Don't forget the lemon pepper. If I can find it, Tristan. <laughs> Betty, Betty said she's gonna look for you. We're gonna hunt it out. If Kush had a salad, I think this would be it. It's like all of her favorite veggies. And you definitely don't want to overdress this. You want it to keep that crunch. You don't want it to go soggy. Nope, Tristan, the closest I could get was chipotle mango. Sorry, dude. Man, we too fancy for that lemon pepper. <laughs> That looks good to me. All of the colors. Oh, dropping things everywhere. <laughs> Spack you. That's a rough one, Scones. That's a rough one. You think it would be a little dry to eat? I will try it right now. <laughs> Five dollars for lemon pepper. You heard it here first. Okay, I'll get cam view so you know I'm not lying. Got a little bit of everything, guys. Not dry. It's really good with the ginger. Everything's fresh and crunchy. The cashews and peanuts make it nice and nutty. I'm sorry, Jelly. But there's a couple of people on here that are definitely in a worse boat than you are. I think it's probably like, what, 2 a.m. for them, maybe? Panda, it is as delicious as it looks. I think one thing I might add to it next time is some fresh chopped mint. 
for another flavor. You would way overdress it, Dongs. I mean, it wouldn't be bad though. Just you'd have to eat it all in one sitting, right? Otherwise it would get soggy the next day. I'm happy with this. So I have a little bit of extra dressing left over, which is good. Because I did put aside some of this salad undressed so that we can eat it tomorrow. All of the plans are coming together, guys. We got 15 minutes on the buns. <laughs> the museum ship. Jelly, let me know what your late night snack is. Always. We're gonna turn that to low, low. Since all of our veg is cooked. No mush, not today. Tristan's Adventures. Donated five dollars to buy lemon pepper. <laughs> You're crazy, dude, and I have to now do it. Go buy some lemon pepper ASAP. That was all in caps locks. It's serious stuff. Don got his grill back, guys. Good day for Don. <laughs> okay Tristan when we go to the store next we'll get some lemon pepper maybe we'll do up some potato wedges or something with it oh no on is clipping I thought you were supposed to be going to bed <laughs> <laughs> clip in Oh, Matt, he said it wasn't West Edmonton Mall. Maybe he got lost in there, though. He's like, is this a mall? I don't know what it is. <laughs> Holy, we got some buns, hun. Tasting the soup. So we're only at the it was in Calgary. Mmm. <laughs> Did the tomatoes break down a bit? Yep. Heat level, it's not spicy, guys. So you could always make this soup more spicy if you wanted to, right? <laughs> when do we put the cheese all over everything? We're actually not cheesing today. I know, surprising. Thursday though, we got cheese. Tomorrow, we got cheese. Wednesday, no cheese. Friday, cheese. So you picked a non-cheese day today, I'm sorry. What kind of cheese did you get? An accident fancy thing? Please explain more. I'm interested. Every day could be cheese day. It's true, Panda. I really love cheese. I have to limit myself though. <laughs> and there it was like, holy cow, how did that get in here? American Swiss is your favorite. That's fair. That's fair. I think my favorite is aged Gruyere. So close. Just mine's more stinky than yours is. Leftover pork loin, asparagus, 
and three quarters of a loaf of Italian bread. That's fancy-ish. What's up? I'm thinking about where Tristan saw the ship. I can't. Oh, a five-year cheddar. So good. I need to show you our cheddar that we got today. Yeah, for 15 bucks. It's a cute one. So in Canada, because we have to have the French, I always call our cheddar Fort. We got to get that old Fort cheddar. One kilo of cheese. Stuffed bun? Stuffed loaf? You're crazy. That sounds delicious. That's a good combo. Good job being creative. Yeah, my Canadian's old fort. They know. Ten minutes on the buns. I think I might put the fish into the chowder, let it go for a couple of minutes, then turn it off and let it like slowly cook. Expand your cheese jelly. Have you ever had cheese with jelly? That's a thing. Jam and cheese. Try Gouda. Yeah. Gouda's really buttery. I think she, I think Jelly would like it. <laughs> Tristan's tracking down his lost ship. <laughs> it's just weird. I guess to each their own. I don't I definitely don't eat it all the time. I would rather choose like apples with cheese than something like a berry. Three pounds of Swiss. Tristan is cheese. Now we know. Is goat cheese supposed to smell like ammonia? Uh, it kind of has that funky smell. That's the goat milk. <laughs> Okay, fish is going in. This is on a simmer now, by the way. We don't want to boil our fish at all. You used to eat sticks of butter when I was little, up till I was eight and my mom had to hide all the butter from me, but I always found it. Finn, is that you? Is that your long lost uh, cousin or something? Feta is goat cheese. You can get feta, but there's also cow feta, which is more popular, but goat feta, so much better. Oh, Tristan, there's a lot more weird things out there than eating three pounds of Swiss a week. You're fine. <laughs> Start gaining weight, though. You might want to cut it back just a little bit. He's 50. He may want to have his cholesterol checked. Yeah, you might have high cholesterol. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Feta and spinach pizza. I'm doing something with feta and spinach this week, guys. 
You'll see it in Discord. To all the newbies in here, my Discord server thing is on my channel page. Everything Lemon, thank you. They're my Sharpie eyebrows, as we like to say. I know that's what draws you in, but I hope you stay for the food. I know that's what Finn wants. Let us stir this in. Guys, this is getting thick. Ermagerd, four minutes. Who is the Finn? The Finster. That's right, my man. That's right. First hand experience right there. Classic. All right, I guess we need some salad bowls as well. some of these things away while we wait. We got another lemon in here. We got a limping lemon too. <laughs> get out before you get stuck. It's okay, I hope they don't scare you. You can stay. Boom. Yes, dongs. I browse. <laughs> Tristan. <laughs> That's what I was thinking the whole time is just Pirates of the Caribbean. Meatless Monday. I thought it was a thing, not a thing. <laughs> Abandon ship. Hurry. It won't hold, Captain. <laughs> Betty says it's past your bedtime. <laughs> Flexered with the hundo biddies again. Thank you, sir. You are on a roll today. He's such a you silent. better get thinking. He's such a silent partner. You better start thinking about your meal. It's going to come to life. Man, there could be stuff stuck in here. I don't even know. The pot on the stove is a type of chowder. So instead of clam chowder, which we totally forgot to put the clams in. <laughs> you should have seen her face. <laughs> it's not too late. We have cod, salmon, and scallops. No, <laughs> she didn't even take them out of the drawer. But it's spiced okay. with chipotles and coconut milk. Meatless Mondays are just gone to hell. Oh, it's clean, clean, lemon. Clean, clean. Do you want the liquid? Yeah. Yeah. 
clams are coming out. Let's get a test on the fish here. See where we're at. We have 40 seconds on the buns. We're almost there, guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do extra meaty Mondays. Almost there. Turn this up just a bit. <laughs> it's really good. It's not overly fishy, which I like. I don't know what's going on. Chelsea? I think we're good. Buns? Our little bunners? Sneaky peek? What do you guys think? I think we're good. It said it wouldn't brown up that much because we didn't ferment the dough as much. Just checking inside. It's definitely all cooked. We can take them out. Buns for all. Yum. How did this get turned? What's going on here? Where are we at? Good night, sir. Good night, Onionies. Clam buns. Clammy buns. <laughs> you guys are nuts, so. Mayo's gone bad. That's it. Mayo's done. We got some fresh mayo today, though, guys. Because when did I use it up? Friday? I think Friday. I know, thirsty on a Monday? Crazy. I'll take it though, I'll take it. It's been fun. Another three hours gone. Chatting with the boys. Okay, let's turn the soup up. And then we're gonna take some of these out of the pan, do the magic reveal. Thrifty Thursday. That's a good one, Dongs. Change it to Thirsty Monday instead. <laughs> Panda. Yeah, I get some crazies in here. Okay, that's not as hot as I thought it would be. We're good. The release. <laughs> what up, everyone? So you could just like put that in the middle of your dinner table and just let people peel the buns off. That's the, that's the best part. Did you just call me crazy? You know I did. We're all a little crazy. That was awesome, hey? That sound effect? I was like, I can't stop this. It was meant to be. They shouldn't be stuck to the bottom. Are you still hot? 
They're still a little warm, but I'm getting antsy. I'm just gonna grab a butter knife. See what we got going on. It might just be the edge part. We got a little bun. And then it should just like roll apart. And then we got our paprika butter in there. And that's where you put more butter. Yeah, that's where you put more butter. <laughs> now we need a little snack. They're really fluffy, like crazy. It's delicious, guys. Like, look at that pull apart. So flaky. Yeah, just more butter, no frosting. Well, yeah, that's the secret lemon. How do you think those grills got those booties? <laughs> See Oma at 3 a.m. Out of control. And it's only Monday. All right, sir. Thanks for stopping by. Always a good time. Have a good one. Hopefully catch you tomorrow. That's a good bun snack. I'm just going to dish some samples out behind the scenes. Yeah, I'm marinated. Marinated. Sorry, lemon. Well and truly marinated. Right there. Okay, soup is just coming back up to the boil. Yes, Tristan. Hello, Caitlin. This is Siri. She wants to get in on the action. <laughs> Why? I said soup is coming back up to the boil. She says hello. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna crumble this salmon in, stir it up, and then you should be good to go. This is Atlantic salmon, so it's nice and fatty. I'm gonna leave some nice big chunks in there. Lesbian action, what is this? We're making chowder. The sword says, take it easy. off a bit yeah, yeah they're not super stuck that's the beauty of the springform pans the bottom is that they shouldn't stick at all and you just peel off and they spun like that all of the layers I know why is smell-o-vision not a thing 
<laughs> hey, ladle. Ladle is needed. <laughs> and I guess one more taste test, right? Gotta check this soup for salt and pepper. Don't serve anything that you wouldn't feed your family. <laughs> Good one, Tristan. <laughs> so dad joke, much laugh. A little bit of pepper. The cilantro definitely gives it a nice earthiness. And then the chipotles add a little bit of smoky so that you don't have to add bacon. <laughs> the last taste before the feast. <laughs> the never the skyiness. I think we're perfect. All right, lemon. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks. Flex, where are you at today? One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you at the top now? You're tied with Ibrick. You're crazy, Tristan. Okay, I'm gonna turn this soup off, do a little plate up. Get a good mix of everything in there. A couple of little pieces of chipotle for some heat. Got a little drip on the side. Okay, this is where we're at so far. Chowder. And you know what I would do? Just put a little bun on the side of the bowl. I mean, I'll probably eat two or three of those. Not even joking. You can probably even just like perch it up with one of the rolls layers so that it doesn't just like sop in like so. Get our little green onion garnish on top. Center it, do it. You're going out. There we go. That's a bun that's chilling on the side. Flex again. Thank you, sir. <laughs> PG 13 stream. I don't even know about that anymore. Do I gotta put the explicit on there? Get our little salad dish, all of our colors for digestion. Oh, lemon, you're getting modded out. <laughs> Van Hammer. Brando with a sword. 
All right, guys, here is our wonderful dinner. This should probably take you about an hour to make. Obviously, if you don't make the buns, that is. Yeah, RIP lemon. Thrown. Gone. <laughs> Throw that shit out. <laughs> Throw that shit out. That looks really good. I am pumped about this. I've never made this chowder before. I've only eaten it. Betty's the one that's made it a couple times already. So I had her in here for backup. Yeah, because you forgot the clams. Yeah, we forgot the clams. YOLO. All right. I'm going to call it a day. I already tried the salad in front of you guys. I tried the soup. I mean, I'm really happy with it. It's nice and hearty. Like, that's what I love. Is you want to see all those pieces of fish in there and be able to distinguish them. Not just be like, yeah, this is good mush. It tastes good. What's up, panda? <laughs> call it a day. Yep, yeah, today is Monday. Um, Dongs, just so you know, we have a Discord for out of chat. I haven't, Panda. Lemon with the follow, though. Trying to redeem herself. Same with you, Jelly. If you want to get on Discord and my Instagram as well, that would be awesome. I know I'm still on my road to 15 subs. I'm at 9 now. When I get to 15, I'm going to take a bite out of a raw onion and eat it. I know it intrigues everyone, but it terrifies me. But it's worth it. Soon, guys. Got quite a few new followers. My, my follower goal for the week is to hit 140 by Friday. And I only need 11 more, so we're good. Another good stream. Yeah, and I'll get that lemon pepper for you, Tristan. Don't worry. I'll keep it in mind. I won't just go spend your $5. <laughs> Panda, I need six more. Six more subs. Yeah, Jelly? Don't even worry about it. Buy a coffee? Maybe. Maybe. It's overpriced, man. Okay, for real. I'm gonna feed my people now. Yeah. They hungry. It's 620 already. Past time. 20 minutes past. Bite of onion for $30? Maybe. Maybe. I might consider it, Panda. <laughs> we'll see how desperate I get. Okay, good night, guys. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. It was a blast, as always. And don't forget to check Panda out. He's been streaming it up. That's true, Panda. It's true. Oh, you are. You are. Okay, night guys. Cook with Kate is out. I'll see you guys all tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, we'll enjoy.